right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So, as of late, we've been without Ubell on the Ubell Mastery channel since Vitamin Y and the live streams are on hold. There's really no Ubell on the channel, which is weird. So, I was on YugiohCardMaker.com, scrolling down, looking at fake cards, and I happened to come across a fake card for Ubell that was not sent to me, which is odd, really. So, I decided to go ahead and look at this for Fake Card Friday, so I give a more objective view that this person was not making this card just to impress me. They are actually trying to make a fake Ubell card, and I thought that would be a pretty good review. So, today, we are looking at Ubell Dystopic Dream Catcher. Uh, card art looks pretty nice, pretty nice. It looks like something you got off of Google, put it in there, and then put some, like, sparklies on there, so maybe it looks like a secret ultra rare, because the art looks more like a secret rare, but the name looks more like an ultra rare, so I don't know. Is that Sandian in the picture? I, I mean, I guess. All right. So, she is a rank four, because this is, of course, an XC monster, Dark Fiend XC effect monster, with, since it's Ubel, zero attack and zero defense. Materials are two level 10 monsters, so... I guess I'm supposed to use first form Ubell in another level 10, or I can just play trains, but I'm sure there's going to be some other way of summoning this card, like putting it on Ubell or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and look at the effect. So, once per turn, you can also XC summon Ubell Dystopic Dreamcatcher by using two Ubell cards in your hand as the XC material. Well, of course, me playing Ubell, I'm going to be drawing Ubell out the ass. So it's nice that I could take the freaking Ultimate Nightmare and Terran Carnage that I have in my hand that I don't want in my hand unless I have Dark Renford because that's just kind of luck I have and turn them into this monster. You know, uh, it's still an egg one, just like any XC play almost. But, uh, you know, you get those pesky Ubells out of your hand. It'd be nice if you could just use like Ubell on the field, you know, because it just seems like it's an upgraded version of the OG Ubell, but just. Use Ubell cards. I mean, I don't plan on playing multiple different Ubells for this card unless it's super good. But, I mean, it's interesting that you can XC with cards in your hand. So, I guess you would take the cards in your hand, put them on the field, then put them on top of each other and just summon the XC monster and attach those monsters to the materials. I guess that's how it works. I don't know. Uh, that's never really happened before that, you know, you XC by using monsters in your hand. But anyway, let's continue looking at this card. So, this card name becomes Ubell while it's on the field. So, just regular Ubell. While it's on the field, even though it has Ubell, this Topic Dreamcatcher, it, it name becomes Ubell. Sure. Copy the Shroud Battle. Oh, okay. So that's nice if you're going to read what Ubell has. Zero attack, zero defense, but it can't be Shroud Battle. Uh, also, or be targeted by monster effects. So one of the big weaknesses of Ubell, and I, I can vouch for this, is Castel. You know? uh, 101 used to be, of course, a problem before Castel. Uh, you can summon your Terran Carnage in defense mode, which is where I generally got that habit of summoning Terran Carnage in defense mode, because then you can't one on one my Terran Carnage because I'm in defense mode. You know, uh, Ultimate Army, on the other hand, you know, I kind of want to attack with that, so I might get smashed up. But Castell, as soon as Castell came out, I was like, shit, you just go into Castell, do task two, spin the Terran Carnage back to the deck, and no, you do not get Ultimate Nightmare because Terran Carnage cannot activate in the deck. So. Yeah, rep on that, but this card cannot be targeted by opponent's monster effects. So while it'd be nice if this card couldn't be targeted, period, not being able to be targeted by monster effects pretty nice because, of course, 101 and Castell are sons of bitches to your bell. So at least that's nice. Also, your opponent takes all battle damage you would take from battles while in this card. All right, so it's just like first form you bell, or yeah, or turn card, except it can't be targeted by your uh, by monster effects. So not bad, not bad, you know. So far, I don't really see it being worth playing too many, you know. Maybe if you have room in your extra deck, round one, just in case you have two new bells in your hand. But it's so situational. Anyway, uh, once per turn, during your end phase, activate one of these effects. You either detach an XC material from this card or destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. Okay. So I can either detach an XC material so I don't kill all the monsters on the field, which then, you know, well, it's like, hey, I saved my monsters from being wiped. I'm also saving my opponent's monsters from being wiped. Or I can not detach an XC material, which is fine, because who cares, because there's nothing really else that this card wants to detach an XC material for me. And I can become Terror Incarnate, which I think I'd rather be Terror Incarnate, you know? Like I said, detaching some material, protecting my own monsters is nice, but I want to wipe my opponent's monsters as well, you know? I'll just find a way around it, you know? I'll make up deals, you know? I'll, I'll find a way to be able to keep my monsters while still wiping. So, that whole, like, you either detaching some material or you destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, like, 
This card seems like it's more like first form of If anything, it's a detached C material, or it tributes itself and destroys itself, and then when it has no C materials and it can't be attached, then it kills itself, you know? Something like that. But this card literally just seems like uh, an upgraded version of Terra Incarnate, except it doesn't summon Ultimate Nightmare, you know? The fact that it can't be targeted by uh, monster effects is nice, and the fact that it's a Terra Incarnate, you know, I take two Ubel cards, even though it's just, you know, other hundred thousand like this person make other Ubel as cards with, maybe review it if they did, but I'm just going off of what's real right now, the Ubel monster. So, uh, you know, I generally don't play more than one of each Ubel, so I could be like, all right, first form Ubel, second form Ubel, third form Ubel, you know, I have two of them in my hand, they're stuck in my hand, I don't have a Dark Rapper, fuck, you know, take those two, something on the field, to see, go into this. That's actually not terrible, you know? And it's like, oh, it's Tajik material, so I guess you would be able to detach it and get those Ubels attached to it in the graveyard, for example, first form Ubel, then you can, you know, revive and do all those Ubel shenanigans, but. I don't know, I don't know. This, this card seems kind of lackluster, kind of off. If it was a real card, I'd play one. I'd play one just in case a situation happened where I'm, I judge rid of those spells, I can at least make this, it can't be targeted by monster effects, so at least I don't have to worry about Castell, which I generally do when playing the bell. and of course it's a Terra Incarnate, and I will be destroying as many monsters on the field as possible. But it's interesting that it says, it doesn't look like it says except for itself, so I guess I am going to be detecting so I can keep it on the field for a little bit longer. You know, so I used to you know, Terran Carney saying, except for this, but this card doesn't say that, so, yeah, I attack, or I wipe everybody, including this, and then I get nothing, I don't get Ultimate Nightmare, so rip on that. So, tell me what you guys think about this fake card, tell me what you guys think about Ubel, dystopic Dreamcatcher in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. I have plenty of fake cards, you guys have sent me so many fake cards, and I really do appreciate it that you guys want to take part in this series, and, uh, you know, send the content creators that you, uh, that you like to watch, uh, something so you can review your own material. So we got plenty of fake cards. I just want to go ahead and review this one while it was on my mind. Plus, I don't want to be like, you know, a fake card sent to me by someone, fake card sent to me by someone, fake card, you know, and keep going like that, you know. I want to look around and see other cards that the creator doesn't expect to see. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the fake card Friday. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more. You get your content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And I will see you guys next time. Another fake card Friday. Looking at another fake card. All right, people. Thanks for watching.